Hi, I'm Jake Silverman, a sophomore at American University in Washington, D.C. I grew up in Short Hills, New Jersey, loving sports and spending time with my friends. When I was in elementary school, early symptoms of my dystonia started appearing with spasms in my hands and feet. In the fifth grade, my teachers noticed that I was taking off my shoes in class and also complaining that it hurt to write. My parents began to take me to doctor after doctor, each thinking they had some idea of why I was suffering, but they couldn't nail down the diagnosis. As the fifth grade progressed, my spasms worsened and migrated throughout my whole body. The dystonia didn't spare any part of me. My whole body was infected, including my voice at times. It was frustrating seeing copious amount of doctors without any of them being able to find exactly what was going on. I was looking forward to middle school, hoping my symptoms would go away over the summer. When I started sixth grade, I was in a wheelchair, but after three weeks, it became apparent that school was no longer an option because the dystonia had reached a point where the pain and spasms were too bad. Eventually, we ended up going to Mass General Hospital where we met Dr. Nutan Sharma, who diagnosed me with dystonia. Dystonia is a neurological movement disorder that causes uncontrollable pain and spasms throughout the entire body. After a year of failed attempts with medication, it was recommended that I have deep brain stimulation. In this surgery, thin electrodes are implanted deep in the brain and are attached to a pacemaker-like device in the chest wall. These electrodes deliver controlled electrical pulses that help alleviate the symptoms of dystonia. DBS has drastically improved my life. However, the DBS isn't a cure, it's only masking my symptoms. I often get setbacks and the battery has failures, which require surgery to replace the battery. Although it was a relief getting a diagnosis, it's troubling that no one has ever heard of dystonia, including my local doctors. Soon this would all change. David Gardner, a family friend, decided to gather some friends and neighbors to start a bike ride in my honor. They wanted to create a ride that would raise awareness and money for research. This grassroots event was planned around my kitchen table and has since raised over $2.5 million in nine years. Jake's Ride has funded 23 research grants and six fellowships. But most importantly, Jake's Ride has spread awareness and made Dystonia a household name. Michael J. Fox was always an inspiration to me. He showed that despite being diagnosed with a crippling neurological mood disorder, you could still have a good life. So when the Michael J. Fox Foundation asked us to join forces and raise money for dystonia Parkinson's, we had no hesitation. 40% of people with Parkinson's also suffer from dystonia. Sometimes in the same family, someone will get Parkinson's and another family member will get dystonia. It is believed that there is a connection between the two movement disorders, yet it is still undiscovered. Please join us at Jake's Ride May 1st, 2016 at the Hartshorn Elementary School in Short Hills, New Jersey. You can walk one mile or ride one, five, 10, or 20 miles. The day includes food from Meat House and Livingston Bagels, great music, family fun, and a silent auction with fantastic items. We are always looking for volunteers and sponsors, so please visit jakesride.org. Thank you for all your support. Hi, my name is Nancy Mulhern. By supporting Jake's Ride, you are also helping to make a difference in the fight to cure Parkinson's. Many Parkinson's patients suffer from dystonia as well. I know this because I was diagnosed 10 years ago with young onset Parkinson's disease. Please help kids like Jake live a full and active life and let's do all we can so our children and grandchildren do not have to live a life with Parkinson's and its debilitating symptoms. The Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research will not quit until a cure is found. I know this because I am a Team Fox member. Visit jakesride.org and participate, volunteer, or become a sponsor for this day of family fun on May 1st. Thank you.